Let's just speak English. All right. Welcome to Fantastic Dimensions. This is session 42, 3, 42, I think. Rogue's Riches. Um, the as yet untitled follow up episode after the uh, long and grueling four episode uh, exploration of the God that crawls. Um, let's see the date. Yes. Uh, you re you returned to Nonsbeck anyway from um, I can't remember the name of the damn village in Kent in Kent um, Stanford Stanford yes thank you uh, you re returned to Nonsbeck you you got back to Nonsbeck on the day of the thirteenth of April yes um, it is now we're going to say the um, the following day, the 14th of April. So you were able to get back. You got back kind of late in the day. Before uh, I even go to bed, when we get back, the first thing I do is go downstairs and check that the wall is still sealed with a ah. lock. Yes, it Good. is. Excellent. And then I will go to my room and sleep so I can study up this spell in the morning and remove that. Okay, very good. What time, what time is it when we, is it late when we get back to town? Like the nah, first it's it's um, it, it's late evening. It's it's not late at night, you know. Like the first thing we probably want to do is talk to Jeremiah, or do we want to examine this? No, nah, we want to examine that book. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say we might want to copy it or rip some pages up before we give it to them. But yeah, at least read it first. Yeah, and I have a uh, Medina. I have something that you might be able to help me with. This Sumerian tablet. Needs to be translated. Apparently, you can speak the language. Who did you leave in charge of your house while you were gone? You're muted, Medina. So we were going to get like uh, hire a uh, mercenary game, but we left before we discussed that yeah, and decided never, that we never did. All right. So I would figure <laughs> that the person that we have hired as our handyman would be the one to just check on it like every day, like every other day just to make sure everything is still sealed up and whatnot but there'll uh, be okay. no guards in there i mean he's on yeah. retainer right yeah i believe he is yep oh we have it here for your household information don't we um and a um, question i do not know if Medina actually knows did Samaritan. we yes jasper hopkins he is uh he, you're paying him 56 silver pieces a month he right. comes down from uh, Boston, if I recall correctly. Mm -hmm. So he swings um, by every now and then and checks it out. Only, only maybe a couple hours away or something. Right. Um, does, does anyone know if I do speak Sumerian? Because I am not sure. It, didn't you roll for him, Ian? Uh, if, if it's I not written on your character, I would say you do not speak Sumerian. Because I don't think anybody spoke. Or somebody might have spoke, spoke Sumerian, but. I thought you rolled, you rolled one of the things for him last session. I rolled multiple I things for him, and I wrote them on his character sheet, but that one I forgot to write down, apparently. I know um, Rob said something that I might know it, but I forgot to actually check the video to see if I knew it. <laughs> I'm going to yeah. say you don't. There we go. Nobody can translate this tablet. Why don't I roll for it now? I can translate it. Yeah, somebody speaks Sumerian. I think. I thought I think. it was Medina. Or maybe yeah. nobody could. Let me check. Klaus, I think, spoke Sumerian. And you rolled, from what I remember, you rolled for, um, for some reason, you rolled for Medina. And he was going to be able to read it or something. But I'm not sure on that. So no, I'm just to say no. Just to say no. Josh wasn't here. He doesn't speak it. Right, write it in your language is not known column. Who does speak it? Here's where I watch a video and Ian's like, yeah, he speaks. In theory, Klaus, but Jose's not speaking up, so don't know. Um, no, I'm trying to figure out because uh, I forgot to write because I know I have learned Chinese and I forgot to write it down, so I just put it in my thing. But I think I did speak it because I know one of us did. did I we, can did, speak. Did, I you can, guys, did you guys know what I was on read. it? Um, Nobody and, read. And uh, but I can... Oh, sorry. I can technically read any language. That oh, I want with to. magic, right, right, right. right. Okay. Who has it written oh, down? But comprehending and but knowing the deeper meanings, I can just read it, read it literally. Who who has it written down on the character sheet? I do now. 
That's not known. That's... Yeah, no, no, I have no, no, it. No, 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 no. I mean the tablet, the stone tablet. Oh, oh I have the tablet. What page reference did, did it come with? Um, I don't have the page reference for that, but for that spearhead, it was page 28, room 212. I think it was near that. You know, I don't remember us getting it. It was in room two, the second room, in, in room C. I think it was those two rooms that were cut off across the chasm I had to climb over to. Yeah, it was in room C. I have that. I have room every, C was every the, treasure. The scrolls written in Chinese in that one. In the other uh, the, um, Well, no, room C in, in the east room was a small room. box, a Latin scroll, yes, okay, a here it is. uniform tablet, and a diamond. So, yeah, there's a small box. Inscribed tablet. That must be the one. Um, well yeah. done. Thank you, Merrick. That is sure. a tablet. Yes, inscribed with cuneiform writing. Oh, yeah. I seem to recall saying um, it's just written in a cuneiform language because nobody could read it. Right. Yeah, none of you can read Sumerian. No. So write right. it in your language is not known. Sumerian. Okay, yeah. So I took that and I took that. Thank you. Head spear. Yeah, you took the spearhead, right? Yep. Cool. We also don't speak linear A. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Now, now that I've re Pretty read Chinese, the, the actual <laughs> page, the, the section again, I'm reading, I remember, oh yeah, nobody, nobody knows what that says. So there we go. Question answered. But uh, I can technically read any language. I just won't right, be able to right. Be, like, using a, using, a, it. using a spell, etc. Exactly. Of course. We'll look into that later. Of course. So the the night of the thirteenth, then we get back. The house is still secure. You haven't been robbed. Uh, you haven't been vandalized. Um, nobody left the oven on. You know, mm -hmm. everything is good. Um, Medina goes to the inn. Has a bit of a relapse, goes on a bit of a bender. Um, how many silver pieces you got on you, Medina? Awesome. Just like your curiosity. I have two hundred and thirty-three gold. So. You have two hundred thirty-three gold. Yeah. How much did you bring with you? Because I remember before we left, I told everybody to write down how much gold they leave in the oh, chest that we're locking in the I, basement. I only brought thirty-three gold. That's why I have it separate. I brought thirty-three oh. gold. Okay, and I have cool. not unlocked the basement yet. Very cool. Um, all right, so let's see if I can remember how to do this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I need to zoom a little bit. Zoom to page level. There we go. Okay. Mm -hmm, hmm. Okay, what is the thing here? So, right, give me a poison save, Adina. What is my fucking poison save? Oh, actually, now that I think about it, um... it can be worse than when I did it. Believe me. Well, I got a two on a twelve. So... Okay, roll d twenty for me, please. Ten. A ten. Okay, what do you have on your character sheet as far as personal items? You had your thirty-three gold pieces. What else is on your character sheet? Uh, I have my specialist tools. Okay. My rapier, my flintlock pistol, powder horn, shot bag, 12 parcels, water skin, lamp oil, and a backpack, candles, soap, tobacco, and tinderbox, and a map. Any kind of armor? Uh, my armor. Where is my fucking armor? I do not know what my fucking armor is. What's your armor class? I did class? not have it. My armor class is 17. And what's your dexterity modifier? Plus one? Uh, yeah. Sounds like you're wearing chainmail. Okay. Okay, right, right down. But you're not, because you wake up on the morning of the <laughs> 14th of April, naked, freezing in a ditch, erase everything from your character sheet personal uh -huh. items all your money all your items your armor your weapons it's all gone oh my specialist <laughs> your specialist tools yep it's all gone uh -huh. you have been beaten and robbed you have no recollection you vaguely remember getting drunk and hanging out with a group of rough roughneck types at the non-spec in last night um 
Yeah. Um, it, you wake up, you know, shivering, um, sniffling, feeling miserable, and uh, trying to cover your privates as best you can as you rise up out of the little ditch. And uh, you look, and eventually you kind of can figure out from the, the, the landscape around you, uh, you, yeah, you're about a mile outside of Nonsbeck. you got to walk back. I'm glad I didn't bring my rifle with me. <laughs> Fortunately, you know, you were drunk and naked, so you woke up like at the crack of dawn. No pun intended. <laughs> uh, I'm just erasing everything. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Damn. It's a good thing you didn't yeah. bring all your gold with you. Yeah. I just wonder why I split it and I remember why now. That was an expensive bender, 33 gold pieces. Yep. And I lost my flintlock, my rapier. The only weapon I have is my rifle, which is safely back at home. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> what does that work out to? Just out of curiosity. Um, that's only 1,650 silver pieces. Yeah, only. Um, you can only buy 16 and a half horses for that much money. All right. Uh, I will just walk back and try to sneak in. Uh, into the house? Yeah. you have a key? Oh, shit. That would, if I did have a key, it'd be fucking You don't blocky. anymore. You did have a key, but you don't anymore. Mm. Mm. Oh, fuck. If you lost his key, that doesn't bode well. We're going to have to change the demo locks. Yeah, you knock a, on the door. Is there an open window? <laughs> it's um, a naked man. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. What's the average temperature All in that right. part of the world in the middle of April? Fucking free. No, <laughs> it's quite pretty cold. nice. Yeah, it's pretty cold. You could try to break it's, in through a window. It's England. It's not going to be warm. <laughs> you, you could try to break in. Oh, no, I won't. I'll just knock on the door. Of course, you don't I'll have any specialist the... tools. So. I know. I'll just knock on the door, but I am a bit worried. My cat, he is a bit worried, Medina, because obviously all his scars are on display. Mm -hmm. um, he didn't want anyone to see him. Who wants uh, to be back. awake first thing in the morning? Are any of you guys awake first thing in the morning? I am praying. Mm. Okay, you hear a knock at the door. I'll go see who it is. Anyone, please let me in. Describe your scars to uh, to Sullivan Jack, who opens the door and sees you in all of your birthday suit glory. Okay, well, it's I'm basically on, oh, on, there you go. <laughs> on my chest. I'm severely burned, and I will have scars, quite big scars along my chest. On my back, it's like whip marks all across my back, and it looks like my back has been pulverized by a whip. Because it's that bad. It was scarring. Well, I make a little gasp and I don't say anything. I just let you in. I, I do say, where the hell have you been? What what happened? What is this? I think God was testing me. I may have uh, had a little relapse of my alcohol issues. Maybe the stress of the adventure got to me. And you've lost your clothes? I've lost pretty everything I had on me. So Dear God, man, get in here before someone sees you. Oh, thank you. I will go in and try to find some, some clothes. I'd probably have spare clothes in my room. When he walks away, I give a little shiver. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Medina's I I scroll home. back butt naked. I want to. I want to figure out what we're going to do with this book, or should like should I go announce that we're we've returned? Or should we look at this book first and all approach that guy together? I am spending the morning studying spells. I need two hours for that. I, I think we should approach them whenever we're ready. They can wait. Wait. Would my horse still be out there? Out. Oh. Outside your house? Yeah. Oh no, we stayed. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, I don't think you rode your house to the bar down the street. 
Okay, so I've got another rapier. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, I need time to do spells too, so I'll just I'll just wait, do my morning devotionals until you're ready. Uh, luckily, I had a few things in my heart. Yeah, I'll get dressed, uh, get something to eat, something to drink, something to warm me up. Whatever okay. we have in mm. the house, which is probably not a lot. Well, you guys did have... Um, in uh, fact, I think, I think it's even written down here, right? In your cellar, you've got uh, a barrel of ale, you've got 10 bottles of decent wine, 10 bottles of decent whiskey. Yeah, I won't be touching that. <laughs> um, and you also, you guys did build the well outside, right? Yeah, so you've got uh, you've got fresh water available as well. Yeah, I'll probably yeah I'll probably get some water. Then whatever we have to eat, I will eat even if it's just real fresh. Yeah, you don't get you don't have a stock of food. Um, this, well, you know what? Yeah, we're just charging a maintenance cost. I'll say you do keep a stock of food in your house because you guys are paying fifty silver pieces a month each anyway for maintenance costs on food. So right. Uh, I'm gonna need to Food buy some basic more... supplies. I'm gonna need to buy some more chain mail. <laughs> what would my AC be if I have just normal clothes? Um, base is twelve. You have a plus one for dexterity, so thirteen. Okay, cool. Yep. I just... Let me just make note of what chain mail is. So this is know. why before you go to well, you didn't really have a choice, but before you go to the bar, you take off all your armor. And... I didn't have a choice. <laughs> Yeah, you didn't have a choice, though. <laughs> you just go to the bar naked. See, I had a spare rapier. <laughs> that might be a problem, too. <laughs> I, I had a spare rapier on my horse. I wish I had spare armor in my in my room. Mm, oh, we have loot money to spare, to, to spread out. Oh, I, I, folks. I still have quite a bit of gold. So. There is a blacksmith in town. Cool. Two of them, technically, a blacksmith and an apprentice. So, yeah. That's okay, cool. so you can wake up. Do your morning breakfast rituals, study spells, whatever you want to do, pray, all that. So we'll just kind of fast forward to the later morning, say it's like 9, 10 o'clock in the morning. Everybody's done their preparation and stuff for the day. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you want to do then? So the first thing after we have our breakfast and study spells, I go down and unlock the basement with the dispel magic. Remove that uh, wizard lock on there because that dispel will permanently remove it. Of course, yes. Oh, do I have the uh, image still? I do. It's even still loaded and all of your home. Boom. boom. Yeah. You put that in the chat and I'll save it. I can. Yes, I'll work on that. Take just a few minutes or less. But yeah. Okay. So yeah, you um, you dispel the wizard lock and you're able to enter into the um, the door leads right into the laboratory, doesn't it? It does. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which I haven't started filling up yet it's just empty tables at the moment right well you have stuff now well no, you have a library nice. you have a library have for a library there's bookshelves in there mm -hmm. talking about the, the you want me to give you that scroll that i have over is the scroll page 30 c secrets of self change oh you have that yeah yeah because um, page... so i could read it 30. See, let us see the secrets of self change. That's the Chinese scrolls, yeah, or a scroll. What about it now? What were you asking me about it? Oh, I was asking uh, Antonio if he wanted oh. me to give it to him to put it down there. Gotcha, gotcha. Sure, I mean, if anybody we got all those books and stuff, we can put them all down in the library for now. Talking about that, whenever we get a chance, I'll, I'll teach you how to read it if you want. Definitely, I want to be able to read all of these. I'll follow you down there. Of course, that's where everybody's gold is at. I'll... I don't think I've ever seen the secret area. Mm. Oh, well, we can put all the gold on there. Tonight. Yeah, it's got that secret door that I paid good money for, and we I wizard lock it when we leave, so that it requires a dispel to get in there. But it's a good door, and it's pretty well hidden under the stairs. But yeah, I'll show everyone oh. how to get in. Do you want the golden thread also? Oh, uh, the gold there? needle? Yeah, gold. Yeah. Yeah, there's uh, spare tables. I haven't even gotten any lab equipment yet, so I can't identify anything. I get my lab equipment set up. 
Well, I just figured we can put it somewhere in here because I do not mm-hmm. want to give it to this church. People. Don't get me wrong. Oh, I God, no. God. Definitely not. But... So, yeah, there's tables down there. You can set it down on any of the tables. I'm going to so, put that uh, tablet and the diamond in, down here, that little set of things. Yeah, right. that's a good, good idea so, to just spread everything out. What I would advise, um, just for record keeping purposes, mm-hmm. if you're storing your magical items or whatever you want to call them, your, your, your ar- artifacts or whatever things that you found, some of them might be magical, some of them might not, but any of that stuff, special scrolls, books, etc., keep it on your character sheet, but just put like a notation next to it to say that it's in the laboratory. Mm-hmm. You know, that way we know it's not encumbering your character. You're not carrying around. You're not going to lose it if you get robbed, you know, or something by brigands in the in the bar. Right. <laughs> Luckily, should, Medina should wasn't that, there. Should that happen? Luckily, anything. Medina didn't uh-huh. take. Yeah, he didn't take any of the uh, any of the special loot with him. Thank goodness. So yes, I got these four books: the poison book, the mm-hmm. state book. We put all that stuff in the library, and I'm going to put that. In fact, and what I would advise is uh, on the campaign notes under the the stuff at the bottom, towards the bottom where your party house is, Mm -hmm. uh, we have seller stock, we have rooms. Underneath seller stock, let's start a new section there. We're going to call this uh, laboratory slash library. View only for the moment. Um, Let's call it laboratory, library, what do we call this? Um, uh, the, The stash. Uh, no. Stock. Stock. No, stock isn't correct either. Yeah, let's call it vault. Laboratory, library, vault. So the, the various goods that you keep down. Is set to view only, you said? Yep. I That's sent you a weird. request for access. I, I have not changed anything, so what a pain in the ass. Thanks a lot, Google Documents. It seems to lock it every now and then. Yeah, I'm glad I'm not paying any money for storage on your stupid system, Google. <laughs> they keep asking me, like, "Oh, you're 90% full on your Google Drive. You should you should subscribe to receive more storage." No, not the, not going to keep acting like this. Yeah, it is set to view again. Let's change it to edit, copy link, done, and I'm putting it into the. Uh, I'll put it into the Facebook chat because you can actually hot link from there. You can't hot link, I don't think, from Zoom group chat, can you? Oh. Or can you? No. I think you can. You put it in there, but you had to copy paste. That might have actually been StreamYard. I'm not sure, but either way, there, there it is in the Rogues Riches Facebook group chat. I'm going to put it in the Zoom group chat too, just to see. Oh yeah, you can hot link from Zoom. It was StreamYard. Remember that other program we used in between mm-hmm. Hangouts and this? Yeah, yeah that was the you, one. You can because you set up one for a cold warning. Yeah, fair enough. I'm oh, that's there. interesting. So I, I had bookmarked it. Now that you have set it again, I can just use the, my same bookmark and it now works. Interesting. That's cool. Yeah. I just okay. actually saved the document in my. It's in my documents, but when I go to it, it's like live updated. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same with me on my phone. But there you go. Maybe that has something to do with it. Maybe it's when I'm accessing it on my phone, it's screwing it up somehow. I don't know. But but there you go. So there's a section there for laboratory, library, vault. So anything that you want to store in there, too, I would, for, for the meantime, immediately, you can just write on your character sheet that it's in the library or vault, whatever. But I would like if by the end of this session, you do copy that stuff into the notes, just in case you're not here next session and we need to know what's down there. You know, some of this stuff I don't have the page references for. Yeah, if you and if you have a page reference um, or a letter reference, anything that's do please also write that next to it, just so I know. Blah blah blah. So, um, I would like to go to the blacksmith whenever I get a chance, so I can get some chain mail. Jar of juice. <laughs> I need that chain. Oh, yeah, I still got some blue goo, too. I need the chain, man. Oh, yeah. At some point, I would like to switch my uh, dispel for the getting rid of curse type thing. And I want to try to use it on Jack Sullivan because if this fruit's like 
did you know they rot it out like they did god knows if something happened <laughs> could happen to them so if i can try to help it i might as well there's nothing wrong with me i uh, just you never know it's better safe than sorry what do, what do you want to do uh, I want to cast, uh, what is it, uh, remove curse on you. Okay. From a Catholic, I guess I'll allow it. <laughs> mm-hmm. I trust you. We become good friends on this last journey. What are you casting? Remove curse? Yeah. I mean, I don't think it's going to do anything, but I figure why not. So he would just pray and like have what, his hands what, over his why, shoulder. Why? Why are you doing this exactly? He thinks well, he, he, he ate that fruit. So like, if that fruit like rotted like it did, I don't want him rotting. Uh, okay, I just want to make sure you weren't metagaming or anything. Uh, but okay, fair enough. So as you're doing casting the uh, the remove curse spell, Jack, your armpits have been itching ever since you got out of there. Anyway, but as he does this, it, they start to itch really badly. Um, and you have like a really painful kind of experience as in the process of the, the spell going off, which happens pretty quickly. So within a matter of probably around like six seconds or something, um, vines grow from your armpits and sprout these green fruits or gray fruits, I should say, and then drop immediately off from your armpits onto the ground once the spell is finished casting. Ah! And there's about six pieces of that gray fruit there on those Two vines, no, one curse. group for oh, the Jesus Christ. What the fuck? Oh, uh, please don't eat those. No, let's let's get those out of here. Well, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, get a jar and get a sample. Indeed, indeed. I will anyway. I, I um, am off to the blacksmith this Take those morning. down to the laboratory and I go off to the blacksmith. Fuck what what's going on there. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, fuck this. I'm gonna go at order new armor. I need new I need new shit. Does okay. those fruits resemble anything about the plant that I have, the dead plant? No. Nope. These are from a vine. Well, I guess a vine is technically a plant, but no. Honestly, I think I'm still drunk after seeing that. <laughs> it's a different different type of plant. Okay. But these are the exact exactly like the vines that you encountered in the dungeon, and exactly like the fruit. It's the gray, really kind of colorless looking fruit. Smells like peaches. Oh, and Ian's out in the eight. laboratory now. <laughs> I did not turn over the. Uh, I still have the head of the spear on me at the moment. Okay. I didn't cool. put it in the lab. Kept that in your personal. Okay, no problem. Okay, so you got one piece of the gray fruit in a jar in the laboratory. I took all the fruit. Oh, all the fruit, all six pieces. Okay, cool. Yep, I just put it in there. Good. In the dock is good, good, good. six pieces of dungeon, six gray dungeon fruit from Jack's pits. <laughs> oh yeah, and I'll add this. Uh, I have a flask of the blue goo. I'll add that to the lab. lab. Cool. Because that healed uh, one of us when we drank it, even though it's true, or at least it did once. I still don't trust it, but yeah, that's yeah. worth investigating. Um. Oh yeah. Did we put a page reference on that one? Uh, no, oh, but it was no. that room with the dripping goo from the ceiling. I yep, I'll, I'll find it and I'll give you a page reference just for future in case uh, it comes it's, up. It's near the one with the three prongs facing south, the three collapsed tunnels facing south. At like here it is. It's page to... twenty-three two o four, room two number four, or, or sorry, level two room four. Yeah. What page was it? Page twenty-three two dash four. Just for future reference. Okay, cool. Hey Jack, I got a quick question for you. <laughs> Sorry, I just saw your post there, Jose. <laughs> um, I know that I have one scroll and two potions. Did okay. we ever end up using those or no? Because I can't remember. Ah, uh, it was a cleric spell. Yeah, we never did figure out the potions. I figured there were... Oh boy, how many potions altogether were there? Because I know I got two on me and the scroll. I just remember what they have, so I figured I can put that in the laboratory. There are four potions altogether, and two more cleric scrolls. Right, two cleric spells did, or two cleric scrolls. How many spells were on right. it? I don't remember. We never looked. We didn't. No. 
Or I don't have it written down. Because I was cleric spell, so I didn't care. I let the cleric still deal with it. I, know, I had the one scroll that I used up, and I didn't. I gave the other one to Klaus. That's right, the one, one was about. used up. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, well, I'll just Let's say it's here. that one then. Hold on. Unfortunately, I didn't say how many were on it, so I'll just pick the late lesser of the lot. Let me see if I have it written down, because I did write down as much as I could. And then I just tore up all my notes. Great. Hmm. Never tear up your notes. In an no, ongoing these were because I had already written down on something else, but I oh, forgot okay. that those were not. Um, I'm gonna put my uh, eleven bottles of holy water down here also. Okay. Do you want to drink the potion? Uh, I, I don't want to die. I'll drink one. Sure, I got. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Why are you drinking? Do you want to drink one? Listen, this peer pressure, man. You can't put me in the spot like that. Cause I'll do it. I'll do it, Demo. <laughs> All right, roll a d12. Eleven. Tear that up. Where'd that go? Eleven. Whew. You feel really strong. What's your strength modifier? I don't have one. You, it's a zero? Yeah. It goes to plus three. Oh, shit. But it's going to wear off in 40 minutes. Oh, well, but I'm, I'm not going to put nothing down because I'm not going to use it. <laughs> oh, I try one out. I feel good. I'm going to go outside and like exercise. So. Nice. So go ahead. You basically have a strength of 18 for the next 40 minutes. I want to examine that plant that I have, the dead plant. Mm -hmm. It's still okay. dead. Still dead. Okay. If I take it outside into the sunshine, I'm going to sit there and look at it, set it down mm -hmm. in the sun, see this if is, any changes. This is the most depressing thing ever. <laughs> Cole and his but dead plant mine. just sitting in the sun looking at it. He's like, this is the only thing I got out of that damn dungeon. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's It continues to be dead. So after a half an hour, if nothing changes, I'll go get some water and pour some water on it and see if that helps. Okay, it is now wet and dead. I think it's pissing. It's pissing. Hmm. Wait, wait, Cole's outside, you said, right? Yeah, Cole's yeah, outside, just outside. sitting in the sun. I was going to say, like, if it was near me, I would try to, like, heal the plant, see what the fuck happened. Wow, I rolled another, and it actually, it is, actually is sunny at the moment. What the, what the fuck? It's sunny. I'll take my dagger and I'll pierce one of my fingers and drop some of the blood on the plant and see if that does anything. Are we in the same Lincolnshire? What? Did they give you a page reference for that plant? Not that I have written down. You it would be right here something. somewhere. I think that was in the first section, wasn't it? Yes. Uh, in one of the first ones we went to. The plant. Yeah, it was in room like I or J. So you pour blood on it out here in the sun, drip some off your finger, yeah? Lose one yes. hit point. Okay. It comes back to life and instantly grows lush green leaves. Hmm. It doesn't grow any bigger, just leaves, right? Yeah, the, the dead leaves turn into... Oh, we'll just see. They fall off and fresh green leaves like sprout in their place. Hmm. But the plant is alive again, it seems to be. Well, good. Now I got out of there with a live plant instead of a dead plant. Mm -hmm. I'll just sit there and watch it for a while. Okay. Any smell coming from it? Any kind of aroma or anything? Sorry, I should there, have asked there is later. there is almost like a kind of a sweet smell off the leaves, you know. Hmm. Just 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 a, a faint, you not not like a super sweet smell or anything. It doesn't smell like Sullivan Jack's armpits during that during that remove curse spell or anything, you know, which smelled like peaches. Um, but... <laughs> no, 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 uh, veg like a vegetable or a. Or oh, a I did write it down. There were four portions. Uh, how, you, you sit up there, watch it for a while. Yes. 
it is starting to grow something on it. You think maybe given more time, it will grow some kind of fruit. Yeah. Okay. I'll just sit and watch it until I decide not to. Okay. Very good. Okay. So then, Medina, you go to the blacksmith, yes? His name is Albert, if I recall correctly. The smith. Uh, let's see here. Mm -hmm. So Albert's medium height, burly and strong. Um, he has messy blonde hair and a tattoo on his right arm of a shark-toothed mermaid sitting on a treasure chest. Uh, of course, he has uh, Tall Frederick with him, his, uh, his assistant, stroppy teenager. Um, he, he is quite tall, a little bit lanky, though, kind of skinny, you know, like most teenagers, you know, he's not fully grown into his uh, frame yet. Uh, so when you come in, um, Frederick will come to you and say, well, hello, sir. What can we do for you today? You're muted. Yes, <laughs> uh, yes. I clicked all the wrong things. Right I see now. that. Yeah, you're pressing every <laughs> button except for the mute button. So, yep. um, yes, uh, I would like to uh, place an order for chain mail. Chain mail. This is yes. a bit archaic, isn't it? It's what I am used to. Mm, I better go talk to the master. Just a minute. Okay. He goes over, and uh, you, you see, you, you you know, you just kind of see him talking to Albert. You can't really hear him, you know, across the uh, the smithy. You know, you're you're at the kind of counter, if you will, and you, you just hear. Albert say, chain mail! Ah, he grumbles. He starts walking over. He puts his hammer down. And Frederick looks a little chastised as Albert kind of struts over to you. Says, oh, sir, uh, I understand you've put in a bit of a strange request. Yes. What, do you, what would you want that medieval armor for? It is to remind me. My original chain mail was Made from the chains I was once attached to. So he gets a skeptical look on his face, like he doesn't believe you. <laughs> well, his facial expression says that sounds like a bunch of bullshit to me. But I will pay. But he just says, "Well, that's going to take some time. I don't have the materials for it to get chain that fine. It's going to have to be custom ordered, made." Uh, well, I'm quite busy as well. I could take it on as a special order. Yes. It's going to be expensive. How much? How much are you looking at? He starts counting on his fingers. <laughs> mm, make it from scratch. I do it for a thousand. A thousand gold? Shit. A thousand silver? Oh, thank fuck. Oh, I thought you were ripping me off. I say this in my head. I thought you were ripping me off right now. And so did I, but Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> a thousand silver, sir, and it'll take three months at least. Okay. Right. I have to work oh, it in amongst how... all my other work, and there's a lot of fine detail making that chain. How much is that in gold? Just thousand. Twenty. Okay, I give him. I give him thirty gold. I give him an extra ten gold. He gets this big smile on his face, and he says, well, "Very well, sir. I will put it together for you as fast as I can." Thank you. So, for the meantime, I, you might want to write a note down that your chainmail will be ready on July fifteenth. Uh, also, I throw a gold piece to the uh, tall guy, to the young teenage lad. Oh my god. He says, I'm going to buy Gale flowers. <laughs> did you say July 15th? Is that what you said? Hmm? What did you say? What day did you say? July 15th. 
Okay, I had to take your life. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on. Fuck, now I'm hitting all the wrong buttons. <laughs> okay. Back of the house, any more shenanigans going on? Cole is sitting outside watching his uh, now vivacious plant enjoy the sunlight. Um, Sullivan Jack, your uh, armpit stopped itching shortly after the spell was cast and after the vines fell from your from your pits. That's wonderful news. Uh, yeah, we need to look at this book, the Amagato book, gentlemen. Agamot? Uh, Agamot. Agamot. We need to determine if we're turning this over or not. Because uh, they're going to know we're back in town, you know, after today. He's going to wonder what's going on. Yes, yeah, so, I suggest we get skimming through that right away. That's what language was the, oh, so I can read. Well, I can read it, and then you can write it whatever language you want while I'm reading it. Transcribe it. Yeah. And then we can decide if we're going to burn it or give it to him or rip some pages out or whatever we're going to do. Let's get to work. What language is it in? Uh, it was in ancient Greek, right? Wasn't yeah, it? Not, Isn't that, is that right? I know. I I can't read Greek. Yeah, I can read, I can read uh, ancient Greek, yeah. Uh, what language do we want him to put it into? English, Latin? Agamemnon's memoir is in ancient Greek, yep. Um, I think um, we should probably, if Anton is going to translate it, either something we can all read or just something that he can only read so that way nobody else can, you know. Well, that's what I, maybe you can put it in uh, Italian. There you go. No, none of us know Italian. Italian is the, my best language, of course, it's my native tongue. Do you have yeah. uh, I have Dutch, Spanish, Czech, English, Latin. I see. I, I would say, like, let me read it. And then when you, if you think it's too, like, powerful, something they shouldn't find in somebody's hand, mm -hmm. then write it in Italian. If you think it's something that doesn't really matter as much, then write it on English or something. Right. Yeah. So I, I guess read the book and do, like, a running translation. We can sit here and decide together if this is, if things need to be, like, obscured. Do, I, sorry, yeah. are you, do you read ancient Greek or are you do, using a spell? Sorry. No. Um, I do. Oh, Klaus he does. Ancient Greek, yes. Okay, yeah, I right, don't. Klaus. So, so as you're kind of reading it, um, it is notes on um, the wizard Agamot's attempts to research a spell. Like, wasn't it like necromancy type stuff? Oh. Nope. It, uh, normal. it it is written in Greek, but the language is kind of arcane. Um, let me see here. What does it say here? Da, 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 da. Proper trained. Yeah. Um, th the language he's talking about, it, it doesn't make a lot of sense to you because it's re related to arcane casting. But it's definitely some kind of arcane spell research which uh, a cleric wouldn't be able to really decipher and understand well all I can think of if uh, I'll translate it and if he understands that it's magic but he can't read that type of magic then we should tell the guy we didn't found the book and I'll teach him how to read ancient Greek so that way later he can decipher it are you, are you, are you, so you're going to kind of translate it and tell, tell with, with um um, with Antonio, yeah. Talk this. Antonio, so you guys spent a few hours at this, um, well into the afternoon, um, and you, you come to the realization after about three hours, say, of of this slow plotting, him translating from ancient Greek into uh, English, I presume, and then you thinking, okay, so what's he trying to research here? And you're taking notes to some extent too, trying to trying to figure out the logic of it. Right. right, right. And you realize he is trying to learn the summon spell. Oh. Hmm. 
Hmm. Well, that makes me wonder about Interesting. Brother Gurnot. What does he want with something like this? But does he, here's the thing though. Would he even he, all he knows is that the memoirs are there? Would he necessarily even understand? But that's what I'm saying. Is he really the man of God that he claims to be? Of course, I don't say what the spell is, but I, I do say this seems to be a spell for. Well, do I want to say? Just say, man. The spell, if I understand it correctly. I'm not entirely familiar with it, but I have heard tales. It's used to summon beings from out of our realm to do the bidding of the summoner. It's a blood sacrifice ritual. It could cause rather dangerous things. If done incorrectly, it could even theoretically destroy the world. Now you've seen what uh, Hobbes could do with it. <laughs> do you recall the being that uh, well, you haven't met Hobbes, Sullivan, but every but mm -hmm. the rest of us had. If, if we recall what Hobbes brought with him, wearing the wearing the skin of a dead horse, he probably That's met Hobbes this... briefly. What right, I have only heard stories of this man. Right, he summoned a being that was made of energy, wearing he had to wear the skin of a dead horse to very limited effect. But it summons yeah, creatures such as those. Sounds like horrible witchcraft and summoning demons. Technically, yes, it is summoning demons. And what is consider demons to be outer player beings that don't necessarily care for our goodwill? Well, yeah, for the sake of simplicity, without it's getting into a bunch of semantics. Yes. Call them demons. So what is Brother Gernot? Does he does he does he know what this contains? And is he trying to, you know, get access to it or is he just I don't know what he knows. He's definitely shady. Antonio, is there any way that you oh, could make like a fake copy of this book and maybe put a no. different spell on it? Oh, yeah. No. Put a flaw in it in the summoning. Or can you just rip out the page and peep it and just give him the rest of it? Well, the whole thing, the entire um, journal is the research of this spell. Well, here's a question, um, Antonio. Are you familiar with this particular spell? Not entirely. I have heard, I've seen it, but I've never actually been able to l learn it. Yeah, so you wouldn't be able to tell <laughs> if this is a, an actual, like a, a good version. It might be a, a well version, or maybe he didn't finish his research. The thing is, with spells, there is a spell is not just words on a page and ideas. A spell is a mindset. It's arcane gestures and gatherings of energy right. it's not it's not something that easy i have only created one spell in my life the rest i have adapted from the research of others i, I do have another question for you um let's say we burned this book and then gave it to him is there any way to restore it back to normal or no i fear if we burn the book it will just Look how ancient this, this text is already. Any modifications we make to it, I fear he would easily be able to discover. Uh, I was From, just thinking that maybe you could make is, a copy of it, and then we can chart it a little bit so he can get everything and then give it to him and say we found it like that. Based on what Klaus was reading out, how much would someone be able to use of this to actually learn the summon spell? Give me an intelligence roll, Antonio. All right. And also, while he's doing that, Medina, um, give me a. Yeah, let's call it an intelligence roll as well, Medina. Okay, come on, don't fail me, dice. I will not want to roll over or under. You want to roll equal to or under? I made it. I rolled an 11. Okay. And I have a 14. You don't think anybody without the talents of mm. actually casting arcane magic mm -hmm. because they are extremely rare right you think you think someone would need to have that talent in order to be able to make sense of this mm. and even then yeah. you think it would take months of months of work with these notes these notes are a bit of a right. mess you know what i mean and they're in ancient greek you, you say it, it would take probably months require and it would take a talent. laboratory and a library as well um, before we hand that to him i have an idea if you want to hear me out okay so, well, the house is full of ideas tonight. 
<laughs> there is one thing that may alleviate everyone's fears before you we think of any further ideas to obscure well, the text of this book. I was that, thinking I can cast what the evil thing since evil or whatever when he's near. Well, you know, use it when he's near and find out, you know, if he's already tainted with chaos. Yeah. Has anyone seen him cast a cleric spell or a, no. whatever you gentlemen call it? We have not. I'm the only one in town, I think. Well, me and Klaus, I think, are the only real clerics, but I don't think the father was a could cast, and I don't think Gernot can, but I'm not sure on that. I, I wrote a nine on nine for my intelligence to you. Nice. You, you, as you're kind of like leaving the blacksmith, you, th you remember a conversation you had with the uh, barkeep, Bossard. Yeah, mm -hmm. you you know you know how sometimes bits of your memory return from the drunken night the night before. Yeah, you remember yep. having a conversation no. with him, and he had something, he had something for you guys that was left while you were away. He has it back at the uh, at the inn. It was delivered or something, something that yeah that needed to be taken to the house. But since you guys were away, well, I will go and collect it. I will not go tell the others. I will go collect it myself. You go to the nuns back in. Okay. Yeah, Good. which is probably a bad idea about other people, depending on why I did that night. But you know. Um, so yeah, when you get there, Bosard is there. He sees you come in. And says, "Oh, Mister Medina, yes, you can yes. really knock him back." Uh, why didn't you stop me? <laughs> Well, you seem to be having fun with your friends. Uh, well, next time I come in, never get, don't give me any alcohol. Why? Like a tip. I have, I vowed against it and I seem to have relapsed. I'm just a simple businessman and an innkeeper. Serving customers is my, uh, is well, my trade. I would, I would still pay you. I wouldn't expect you not to accept the gold. I'm I'm a generous gentleman, but just don't give me alcohol <laughs> anymore. Anyway, I recall that you said you had something for me last night. Yes, I, I was a little perturbed that you uh, you seemed to forget about it, but you'd had so many cups already. I figured I would just wait until the next time I saw you or one of your friends. Yes, uh, yes, it's in the back. Uh, actually, here, come with me. You can help me get it out of the uh, out of the storeroom here. Okay. It's rather large and heavy. Okay. The gentleman who brought it for for you, he said it was for, uh, well, he said it was for Antonio Valenti. He, he used his full name. Huh. He had a couple of uh, strapping young lads with him who who were assisting him to get it off of the uh, the cart that they they were driving, or sorry, the uh, uh, sorry the wagon that they were. So this is not something I can just lift by myself back home. Um, how strong are you? I have 13 strength. It's awkward. And once okay. you see it, it's like wrapped in um, cloth. Okay. It's about, uh, I'm going to say, yeah, it's about six feet high and probably about two and a half to three feet wide. Pull the cloth off of it. Yeah. It's a so mirror. Good. What the fuck? What the fuck is this? I, well, I know it's a mirror before you uh, say Yeah, Bossard looks at you and says, <laughs> I know you had a lot to drink last night, but it's uh, a, a mirror. Yes, yes I know. Mister, I what's know. the name you're going by here, by the way? You're going under a pseudonym. Uh, Geo. Geo. It's, it, it's a mirror, Geo, he says, looking at you kind of like you're dumb. <laughs> uh, sorry. Uh, no, I know it's a mirror. I'm just like, why? Right, I'm covering that back up. I cover it back up. I cover it back up, and I uh, was like, "It's a it's well, a gift for uh, your 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 friend, Mister Valenti, from uh, Mister Calcidius." He said his name was Cal. Okay. Um. Well, do you mind if we? I leave it here while I go get one of the others to come and help me bring it back. Yeah, I mean it's already been here for a week. Why not? Well, here's a gold piece. Oh well, <laughs> you're. Your your generosity is legendary, Mr. Medina. Another one. Thank you very much. Yes, that is fine. 
Yes. Okay. I will go back and I will try to find Antonio straight away. Okay. So while you guys are discussing what to do with this, uh, with this book, you know, this is after you've kind of had the revelation and you've uh, begun your discussions as to what you're going to do with it. Medina, also known as Geo, returns. Um, Antonio? Sorry, I was uh, moving. I had sent something in private that I meant to put in, in public and in the chat there. So, oh, really? Oh, yeah. Okay. No, I was replying to their oh, other I things, see. but I was, I was, I was still in a private messaging to you. <laughs> so yeah. So. Antonio. Yes. Um. Well, I've actually come for one of you to come help me. To, uh, some guy called uh, Cal, whatever the fuck the rest of that name was, I do not remember. Cal oh, something. Cal. He uh, sent a mirror. Hmm. I'm Mirror, you say? Does the name Cal mean anything to me, or part of a name? Give me an intelligence check. Roll five. Cal. At first, you're like, I don't know anyone named Cal, and then you start thinking about last names. Mm -hmm. And you remember, and your stomach turns a bit as you remember... Mm. A wizard who is trapped in a tower in northern, uh, in, in the, uh, the the United Provinces, by the name of Sir Ravulan Calcidius. Mm. Tell me, uh, Geo, you, you, did you, you look can, at this object that was sent? You can call me Medina, but here, yeah, but mm. well, uh, I figured stay in Tabit yeah. until you're ready to drop the Namaker. Well, the barkeep took it off took the cloth off but i instantly as soon as i was like it's a mirror i put it back on a mirror it's a six foot tall mirror and i look at cole and i look at klaus because klaus was there right no he wasn't I was there that was after. that was that was that was jose's last character <laughs> Didn't Klaus show up? Oh, he did show up. You're right. He did show up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Afterwards. But, so he you never... knew about the wizard. Yeah, I knew about the wizard because I was, a dumbass, wizard. I was a dumbass to cast that. Um, we tried. He was there in the room when we yeah. fought him. Oh, was he? Okay. a spell and he got out and shot my leg off. Right. My memory's a little hazy. Oh, yes. No, yes, he I is. Say... He took your leg, yeah. How how did he know that uh, you were we were here? How did this mirror get here? If he knows we're here, then that means that, that man is very dangerous. He used a mirror to just kill one of our companions. That's oh, not God. entirely true. Well, I am well. hoping. <laughs> I am hoping that uh, mm. him knowing we're here doesn't mean Shakir knows I am here. I'm hoping they do not know I'm here. Well, I don't know if that would be related. That would be an odd. It would not be related, but you never know if one person knows you are here. Wait a minute, how many old enemies do you all have looking for you? Oh, I'm sure there's a few out there somewhere. Everyone has people in the past that they've wronged. Have... The ones I'm most worried about, I have, I doubt will great, greatly will ever be able to find me. It was very this big of man... you to at least admit that you wronged him. <laughs> yeah, we could have gone through that much better, but we were paranoid at the time. What are we doing about this mirror then? I said we'd go back to get it. I suggest I, we uh, bring it here, take it around the back of the house, and I will meet you there. Magic on it. Do not take the cloth off it. Yeah, I don't. Luckily, I, well, I don't think I br looked properly into it. I don't but, think. As soon as I noticed it was a mirror, I put it back on. Anyway, come on, with that you... with that face, you definitely looked into it. <laughs> yeah, I probably did. But you were like, "Oh, I really need to shave." Hmm. And a, giant, and a giant burn across my face. I'm like, oh. Paul's going to go up to talk to Antonio kind of quietly and say, Where'd you leave your plant? Oh, I brought it back in, put it in my room. By the way. Ah, uh, okay. It dies. It dies. Ooh. Yeah, it I, dies. I need yeah. someone to come. Within with seconds me. of you bringing it back inside. Can someone okay. come with me to uh, get the mirror and then we will take it around the back of the house? I will meet you there and I will. 
go out of the house and around the back and find was, a big heavy stone. I was trying to talk to you. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was going to oh, talk to you quietly. Is this mirror apparently it didn't affect Medina, but he's not a magic user. It may be set for somebody that has magic. It oh. may detect magic and then affect them. That's just a thought you might want to think about. Oh, yes. I had already thought of such. I have okay. no plans on removing the cloth and looking at the mirror. At because time. there's three of you in this household, and all three of you could get stuck mm. up. So. And only two of us have uh, encountered this creature before, this man. And it was delivered in my name. If anything, I believe it will be attuned to me. But I have an idea. Was um, I can't remember a part our, our friend that got stuck to the mirror. He did not use magic there, did he? No. Okay. But we don't even know that this was the mirror. We're pretty sure the mirror got smashed. Do we know that mirror got smashed? I'm pretty sure. Didn't one of you guys smash it? I think we hurled a bone at it. Yeah. Yeah. When you guys smashed it, hoping it would like release him, mm -hmm. but it didn't. Oops. <laughs> yeah, you're quite aware that it got smashed. At least those of you who were there, uh, which would be Cole, Antonio, and uh, and Klaus. Yeah. Okay, so let's take a quick bio break. Sounds good. Bum, 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 bio break. <laughs> Uh, While I was talking to you, Antonio, I was going to yep. tell you quietly about what happened with the plant. Interesting. And what happened when I brought it back in. So I'm going to experiment some more with it tomorrow if I have time in the morning. See what happens. It's interesting. Ooh. It's probably going to have to be left outside if it's going to stay alive. Okay. All right. Just letting you know. Excellent. Be careful with it. Perhaps use animal blood if that's what Woken did the last time. Oh, yeah. Give it, a, give it a back once we get some meat in here. Maybe there's some blood with it we can use. Try a chicken. They're easy to raise. Easy ish. They grow quick. Uh. Does anybody remember, is that the one you, the, someone wrote in there, I am the gate in the notes? Is that the space philosophy book? I would have to look back in the notes to see. Yeah, I didn't get the it page sounds, for that It sounds one. likely, maybe. I can't recall. I think I got all, we got all the books and treasure in there. I've been marking them off the list as they've been showing up. That one, I'm not sure of. And the golden threads, is that what the golden needle, is that what you meant? Yeah, there was a golden needle. There was no golden thread. All right, I'll fix that. I didn't get a page reference for that either. No worries. Fortunately, like pretty much all of that um, weird treasure stuff was in like two rooms, so it's easy for me right. to find it again. I wonder what the uh, Roman soldier that uh, Sullivan Jack, he only oh, has right. a commander left. I wonder what that, that little commander's doing. He's all locked up. Yeah, right? He's going to be fuming when he gets out. No, that commander never animated. Only the soldiers did. Oh, oh, holding, really? hold, oh. holding the commander allowed him to command them. God. I still have the commander. I did not understand that. That's that's cool. Okay. And then you have no soldiers now. So. Yeah, I have the little commander, but I was curious if I tried it again, would it like summon new ones? Probably not, but I still have it. I guess I'll leave that in my room too. Little decoration. I'll play with it when I'm lonely. So uh, are we going to tear out a page and give him the book? Well, 
so the idea that I had when you guys were talking about that is we don't want to make it look like we just tore it out. So I suggest we take the book and we like slap it hard yeah, against yeah. the ground flat and see what pages fly out. Yeah, because I mean, it's really old. We can't be accounting. All right. So not try to destroy the whole book, but yeah, maybe cut, knock a couple of pages out of there. Now, did you want to get a copy for yourself? No, I'm not interested in such a spell. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you already know it. <laughs> All right, so we damage it enough to get at least a page of it destroyed. Right. And then still, he never said he was giving us any money or anything for it. We we need to work out a deal here. That's true. But it's, I guess we could consider it as like goodwill with the town is what we were going for. Maybe. Oh, yeah, and I need to, like when Sunday comes around, I'm going to go address the people again, I guess. Tell them we've returned. <laughs> it's a miracle. The first it's a miracle. Go. We walked all the way to Kent and <laughs> back. <laughs> I was thinking, well, he's doing that and the people are paying attention to him. I can cast the whole uh, sense evil or whatever and I can find out, you know. Remember that casting spells is never discreet or secret. Oh, I'll try to hide in a corner or something. I don't know. <laughs> well, I mean, they seen them cast spells, so yeah, they haven't seen you cast spell yet. Oh, after that, I'll pull a medical out of my they ass didn't see and kill me somebody. Cast. They saw me perform a miracle. That's different. I'm wondering if I should uh, reveal to the church that I have the spear that pierced Christ. And then they'll all be in, in awe. And then they'll follow me instead. Be wary if it got back to the town, spoke over there, they might come in mass to get it back themselves. What the people uh, from the other town, yeah. or or if it gets to, to or if it gets back to the the church, the Vatican. Mm. Well, what are they going to do? Invade England? Bring it. <laughs> Actually, I want to get a spear and put it on there and see if it does anything. There is a blacksmith in town. You could see if you could get him to attach it to a shaft. Yeah, I guess I'll do that after we go get this mirror. You know, stepping stepping out of game, you know who who uh, cherished that spear and tried to find it all over Europe and the Middle East. Adolf Hitler, Hitler yes. He doesn't exist yet. No. Beware of who wants it. Well, you know how all these churches have relics, so now I can start my own church and I'll have a relic to put down in the basement. I might get my own church built right across the street from the house. Because I don't think the father's going to follow my way. It might come to violence. <laughs> we have a little religious war in town. You don't even have to use that spearhead. Just get a spearhead and age it and just tell them it's something. They don't know the difference. They're not going to find keep out. That hidden in the in the lab and put mm -hmm. a freak one out. Yeah. Exactly. How many of those Maybe supposedly cup, ancient, to be the uh, cup of from Christ? Those you know, ancient, the ancient I'm sure that Christian happened all the time. They had fake. fake stuff that they're claiming it's the skull of Jesus or something. Yeah. Yep. The finger bone of St. George. Keep the wood off the ark. Right, a fragment of the Holy Cross. So, well, in that case, we can get a whole menagerie. We can have a whole museum of relics because we just start making fake ones. Mm -hmm. So you did not put the spears, the spearhead in that vault did, or downstairs. You left it in your room. Well, I have it on me. I'm gonna have that on you. Gotcha. 
All right, so we have everything written down. The things I don't have references for, I put a little asterisk at the front and what room they were in, like what, what treasure room they were in and what room in that treasure vault. Yeah, that Latin or that cuneiform tablet and diamond, oh, I didn't have very quiet. I got, I wrote it in there, but if you, I put the page number with a question mark. So if you got the mm. page number, you can I can't it. barely hear you. Oh, that's something on your end then, because I can hear him loud. Oh, and is clear. there? Yeah, I can hear him loud and clear as well. Talk again. Can you hear me now? Oh boy, what happened here? Hello. Oh, that was weird. Everything's fine now. Okay. Yeah, I was just oh, saying. No, it's not. <laughs> Hold on a second. All right. Hold my head. Testing, testing. Hello? Check. I can't I can hear you. anything. God damn it. Oh, you can't hear us? No. Hello? Yeah, we hear you, Jose. I can hear everyone fine. I hear everyone fine as well. So, so can I. Yeah, so here. Bum, 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 bum. Man, a nice elderly man passes her town, leaves a gift for the household. Everybody freaks out about it. Yep, we lost it. I guess he's yeah, reset. he's probably resetting his uh, his connection or something. So you're certain thinking about starting a little religious war in the town of Nonsbeck? Well, no, I'm just gonna I'm gonna start my own religion and see. You know, people might not like that, but everybody in town likes me, so I'm just gonna start passing around some pamphlets with my beliefs in them and see if they'll come to my church instead. What are your beliefs? You're gonna build a church? I got I got them written up. I'm gonna okay, cool. when I get the tablet or uh, when I get my pamphlet written up, I'll. Yeah, sure. We should save that for when we're actually on screen, I suppose. To yeah, discuss. yeah. Technically, we are on screen, but as long as I have that "be right back" sign, I, I reckon people will be fast forwarding and skipping this part. So. Oh, our library filled up from that mission. Yeah. Yeah, there was a lot of stuff. I guess while we're waiting for him to come back, I can fill in some of these question marks, etc. Um Hogan says I'm really enjoying the game and I hope it lasts a long time. <laughs> yeah, it's me too. It's fun. Mm -hmm. It will be interesting the further we get. Well, I wouldn't count on that if I were you, Medina. It might be interesting for everyone else. Well, I have well, I have other characters. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just well, with you. well, characters that I can use from Medina's backstory. So. <laughs> that is slowly building as we go along. And definitely not made up on the spot, and then just added to a little <laughs> document. I have. Talking about that, I gotta make a will before I end up dying because I forgot to last time. And That's last funny. time I invested money too, and I was like, "crap." Now I was thinking at one point getting Medina to go away for a couple of days and play 
Thomas Lozales here comes to Nonspec to find Medina. I don't know. All right, Merrick just popped back up on the Google document, so I'm guessing he'll be back in the call momentarily. There he is. Ooh. Testing, testing. Can you hear us? Can you, can you hear, hear us? I can barely hear anything still. Really? Is Hello. there something wrong with your headphones? Yeah. Are you sure it, that your headphones aren't all the way down? <laughs> Wiggle the wire down a bit. Yeah, although I need to replace these damn things anyways. They're, they just decided to die on me. Do you have any more? Like I have to like hold it in a very specific place to be able to hear anything. Yeah, that's not good. Nope. It's working for the moment, though. All right, well, I was just saying about filling in them question marks, but Ian's doing it. Yeah, I'm, I'm working. I was working on that while we waited for Merrick to come back. All right, so let's, uh, are we, well, yeah, I guess we're not back yet. I don't know. Can you hear us? No, I guess we're not back. Oh, crap, it went out again. It's weird. It was working fine just a minute ago. Yeah, it just went out in the middle of uh, Klaus talking, or sorry, Jack talking about, uh, what was it, when you were talking about your religion or something? I can't remember no, what you were talking about now. I was talking about filling in these question marks on the... Right, I heard that part. Oh, is that what it was? <laughs> okay. Yeah. <sighs> Shit. Yeah, I got those all filled in, I think. That's cool. I guess I know what I'm doing tomorrow. I'm getting some new headset, because I can't hear anything now. Right? Well, nobody was talking now. Can you hear me? I can hear you, but it sounds like you're a thousand miles away. Did you get your volume turned up all the way to max? Mm-hmm. That sucks. Do you Let's want to uh, do, do you want to call it early? Hold on a second here. Oh, I was just gonna ask if he tried it with anything else, but he says yeah, he tried a YouTube video, it sounded like it was underwater. <laughs> test, test, test. Are you on your phone right now? No. Have you tried them on your phone to see if they work fine with that? Because if so, then it might be something to do with the computer. Oh, well, let's see if I can even get in there on the phone. I don't necessarily mean on the call, but even just try a YouTube video on your phone real quick. Just to see if it still What's sounds. Say... Try, it, try, try it on like a YouTube video or something on your phone. Right. No, just it's, to see if it's, it's a hardware here. issue or a software issue, not a hardware issue or whatever, you know. It's my headphone. Is it? Okay, well, fair enough. See, YouTube sounds fine. Does it now? So maybe it's a setting here. Check um, in the bottom left corner. Oh, no, corner. YouTube sounds all watery. Okay, never mind. Damn it! <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of audio settings. So. Shit. You could always uh, say. Audio settings. Input level. Try now. Okay. Hello. Yeah, it's a million miles away. Mm. A million miles away. Da, 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 da. Oh, shit. shit. And what happens if you do it without your headphones? We just get lots of feedback and stuff. I don't have a speaker. Oh. Yeah, it's my, no, it's definitely the headphones. Okay. The headphones no, no, I just think it is cracked on it. I thought you might have some kind of speaker or something. So. No. Rip. Whoop. Oh. Heard rip. Rip, yep. Rip. Test rip. one, two. Oh, everything seems to be working now. What? <laughs> oh, and now it's not. Yeah, yeah, but not for long. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Sorry, Sorry about the long break, guys. Uh, but we're going to actually have to wrap up the session here because one of our players has suffered a uh, catastrophic hardware malfunction. And we'll not be oh, able no. to really proceed. So, um, Medina, you uh, were getting somebody to help you bring the, the mirror back, yeah? You only need yes. really one person. Jack, you can help him, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Cole, what were you doing with your plant? 
making love to it, probably. Wow. <laughs> what the fuck? I, was it, I just put it in the room and put it to get light in the window. Okay, and left put it, it there. Locked sunlight. my door. Okay. And... Did you put more blood on it? No, no, no not today. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. Figured I'd do it next morning. Okay. No worries. Uh, okay, so your plant is in the window to get more sunlight. You're going to leave it out overnight, etc. cetera. Um, Medina and Klaus have gone to collect the mirror and bring it back to the house. I presume Antonio is still kind of hanging out, being paranoid, probably in his uh, in his laboratory for the moment. And that covers everybody, right? Oh, Klaus. What's Klaus doing? You said Klaus twice. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I will probably... I'm sorry, I meant Medina be... and Jack. Yeah. Uh, I was probably still in the laboratory just talking to uh, Antonio. I'm pretty cool. sure he's probably freaking out about the wizard and stuff. So. I enough. do want to say thank you, Klaus, for your insight and for curing me. I didn't feel cursed, but thank you, brother. Yeah, apparently uh, you were. We take care of each other. So. Well, I mean, I was going to th- use the spell magic on him before, but I forgot about it, so I was like, let me try to use the whole cursing, and if it works, good, and if it doesn't, oh well, I just didn't want him to die, if I could help it. Thank you. Right. So, let's see, we are on April 14th, 1633, early afternoon. Uh, So, we have, yeah, everything is on camera as far as what was going on. So, let's see here. Any kind of experience points? Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna be generous. Give you all 500 experience points, just for kind of advancing the the the, the campaign anyway through various. Um, every, everybody did something that it's advanced at least the story a little bit more with each of their characters. So, yeah, 500 XP awarded to everybody. What I'm calling my kind of landmark XP or whatever you want to call it. Uh, 920 away from leveling up. <laughs> uh, well, you should have done a little more then. So that's it for session 42. Sorry about the long delay followed by a quick uh, ending, but shit happens. Hardware shit. So um, we will pick up again next week. um, Normal time. And uh, thanks for hanging with us. Goodbye.